Mark Carney's speech was the 50th annual Peston Lecture, named after the economist Lord Peston and his son, and our political editor Robert Peston is at the World Economic Summit in Davos. Robert, for an awful lot of people watching this programme, they're going to hear these warnings about economic growth and worry about the impact on our economy. What do you think our economy or economic growth look, is going to look like over the next six months? Well, uh, the view from the top of this Swiss mountain, where I've been coming for more than 10 years, uh, which brings together world leaders, business leaders, celebs. Uh, this afternoon, I've uh, run into Tony Blair, Kevin Spacey, and the former French Prime Minister, Dominique de Villepin. Well, the view of Britain from up here doesn't look too bad. I mean, our economy is slowing down, but it's forecast to grow faster than many developed Economies, a bit slower than America, perhaps, but we're not doing too badly. But as Mark Carney said today, we're a very exposed economy. He did say that if the Chinese slowdown led to a fully fledged financial crisis, our banks are now strong enough, he thinks, to withstand those shocks. But if the economy slows down further, and let's be clear, forecasts are getting worse for the global economy, our economy will continue to decelerate. And that causes a big headache for the Chancellor and for all of us, because the government is still perceived to be borrowing too much, and we have a big deficit on our trade and investments with the rest of the world. This, these deficits are unfortunate given the economic sensitivity of the vote on whether we stay in the EU. And up here, what I'm hearing from investors is that if we were to pull out of the EU, well, they would take a pretty negative view of the pound. There could be what we call an old-fashioned sterling crisis, the pound to plummet. And in those circumstances, because of the potential inflationary impact, the Bank of England might do what Mark Carney says he does, definitely doesn't want to do, which he might means he might have to put up interest rates in a way that would be damaging to our prosperity.